although it looks like something out of a Transformers movie, um, and I actually, I don't know if I've ever actually seen a Transformers movie, but I have heard they're cool. <laughs> uh, wow, it, I must be old. Okay, all right. It's actually an amazing complex robot. Um, the arm picks up a massive head filled with spools of carbon fibers and then marks some pre-programmed patterns from 3D computer drawings. Um, Isaac deposits those fibers on complex forms or bowls up to 40 feet long to create composite structures that can fly in the air or be launched into space. Um, it weighs more than seven tons, which is about as much weight as four cars. And the arm um, stands more than two stories tall when fully extended. Um, this multi-million dollar system is one of only three in the world, and the only one in the world that's being used for research and technology development. All right. it, it, if it comes after me, give me a heads up. Um, Isaac was enabled by the convergence of technologies, allowing us to advance a concept that has been around for a while. So every once in a while, we have the idea, I think these ideas that have been around for years or decades, but the technologies come along and enable us to actually advance it. This is a great example of advance taking advantage of advances in materials, robotics, information, and modeling and simulation technologies um, that, that have made the concept of efficiently manufacturing high, highly tailored, optimized structures a reality. So that's very cool. Um, Isaac will really make a difference in our ability to more efficiently and effectively manufacture substances and components using composite materials for use in aircraft, spacecraft, launch vehicles.